guys you're welcome again to my youtube channel it's still dr nobi agatha chizoba we're here to continue our mathematics uh, experience especially with the undergraduates for now we pray in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen Father, without you, there is nothing we can do. With you, we are more than conquerors. Be with us, O God. We are the source of knowledge and understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In today's experience, we want to look at set. We want to specifically look at set. What is set? We want to look at the definition, types, we want to look at the notation and so on. So let's start with the definition. What is a set? A set is a collection of well defined objects. Is a collection of well defined objects. Yes. Remark that mark it well defined. Well defined in such a way that one would be able to say whether a particular object is a member of the set or not. That's the word definedness. It is not just any collection. Any collection that is not that is not well defined, that is not specified, is not a set. Okay? Now we can talk of set of students. That's registered for Math 102. Set of students that registered for Math 102 in 2002. It is specified. If you are registered, you are registered. If you are not registered, you are not there. It's done without fear or favor. Okay? Either you are there or you are not there. All right. Now, when you talk of, if you say, uh, 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 girls, beautiful girls in the class. Beautiful girls in the class. That is not a set. Beautiful girls in the class. Because I can say that uh, Ada is beautiful. Because Ada is beautiful as far as I'm concerned. But to uh, Chinelo, Ada might be the ugliest. Okay? So because beauty is in the eyes of the, of the beholder. So you, you cannot do that. It's not a set. Or tall boys in the class. No. That one is not well defined. Tall boys in the class. It's not well defined. Because somebody that is tall, tall to me, might be sh short to you. So, if you like Tony, you will say that Tony is a, a member of the set. If you don't like uh, Chidubem, you will say Chidubem is not a member. So, that one is not, it's not whether you like or you, well, those you like or those you don't like. It must be well defined. We have examples of such. You can say... Yes, you have a set of uh, mathematical instruments. Those that are used, those instruments that are used for mathematics, they are in that set. I talk a set of numbers. Okay, like what we did earlier, we are we are talking of set of numbers. That's in the number system. The set of numbers. I told you that we're going to go back to that. We're going to go back to that when we get our. A, a instrument, the instrument with which to study it very well, we go back to that. And that is, is one of the instruments that we want to get here now. Now, the notation. Notation. You use capital letters to represent a set. Use capital letter to represent a set. And you can use small letters or numbers or the name depending, or, or depending on what that set is to represent element of a set. Okay. Now, element of a set, if, 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 if a, as an object is an element of a set, you represent it with this. Element of a set. Okay? Let's take this example. I said we use capital letters to represent a set. Let's say A is equal to the set. What is the set A? Let A be the set that contains one, two, three, four. Okay? 
that's a representation okay now the set you can see is well defined one is a member two is a member three is a member so if you want to write that you can you write one is element of uh, a you can say that five is not an element of a i will write five is not an element right element is, uh, is not an element of uh, a write it five is not an element of uh, a so use this to denote element of a set element of a set okay good now let's look at the types we have finite set and we have infinite set for example now if you have this particular set here is finite because the element of the set the element of the set can be exhausted element of the set can be exhausted any set whose element cannot be exhausted is infinite example example the set of natural number that we studied the other time is infinite because the set of natural number is this set remember you use coil bracket one two three dot 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 is infinite we cannot exhaust it where do we stop eh? we cannot exhaust it so it's infinite all right now we have a null set a null set a null set is a set that contains nothing you can equally call it empty set it contains nothing example of such set that contains nothing let's think about it example of set that contains nothing empty set eh? v is equal to the set of human beings that can fly you think there are human beings that can fly okay if it is under uh, uh, consideration let's look for a clear one let's look for a clear one a clear example <coughs> sorry now talk about a set of an odd number that can be divided by two. <laughs> an odd number that can be divided by two or odd numbers that can be divided by two. You can see that is a contradiction. So we don't have such. Eh? There is no odd number that can be divided by two or an odd number that has two as its factor. Since uh, by odd number, it, it has already said that it has already said that two is not a factor of it. Okay, so it's an empty set. And please, this is how you write empty set. It is not zero. Or writing by inside it is this. Or you can have it as a this. That's notation for empty set. Okay. Now, singleton set. Singleton set is a set that contains only one element. You have only one element in it. A set that contains only one element. Okay, for example, the, 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 the set that is element is the vice chancellor of Nanda Azikiwe University, 2002. It's only one, 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 one element that you have because we don't have two vice chancellors as in a section. Okay, we don't have two vice chancellors in a section, so it's a singleton set. Now, let's talk about the cardinality of a set. Cardinality of a set has to do with the number of elements in the set. The number of elements in the set. For example, this is our A here. The number of elements in the set here is 4. Remember, it's not because of this 4. It's not because of the 4 here. But because 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 elements in that set. That's the cardinality. 
and will write the cardinality as what? Cardinality of A. This means cardinality of A. Referring to this A here, the cardinality is equal to 4. Referring to this uh, natural number here, the cardinality is equal to infinity because it's infinite. Referring to this B here, the cardinality is equal to zero. Okay? So, that is it. Now, my viewers, I still want to stop it here for today and uh, I will pray that the Almighty God will continue to minister to us in the language that we, un we understand. Okay? Yes. And uh, I still want to appeal to you to subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos, mathematics uh, experience. We want to have more. We want to have more. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you next time.